You get what you fucking deserve, folks. Hey there, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. And this year I got myself a lump of coal for Christmas. Now in this case, lump of coal is a dark holiday stout from Ridgeway Brewing in Oxfordshire, in the United Kingdom. 7.5% um, ABV, English ale. Much more than you deserve for Christmas this year. Uh, yet another burned out hol or yet another bummed out holiday. Lump of coal, dark holiday stout is a liquid consolation. It's a deep, rich, sweetly rewarding stout to take the edge off of that grim family gathering, that cheerless annual festival of alienation. This brew is as dark as it gets, as black as the lump of coal you'll be getting for Christmas. Because let's face it. You've been pretty bad this year. Well, can't argue with that. And I know that the camera is picking up the sound of the load of laundry that's tumbling in the dryer <clears throat> down the hallway, but sorry folks. Gots to get the laundry done. Can't put it on hold for this. Right, look at that. That is quite dark looking. <laughs> very, very dark, but there's this nice mesmerizing upwards cascade of bubbles around the rim of the, the uh, nucleation point etched into the bottom of this glass. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I'm seeing a lot of bubbles coming up through there. There is just a little bit of light getting down, getting through down here, and I can see a hint of brownishness here, but it is mostly very, very dark. Sorry, I'm just watching those bubbles. It looks really cool the way the LED light is um, bouncing around in them. Almost looks like snow flowing upward. Hey, how about that? Kind of a roasty, multi overtone. I'm getting something else, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Hmm. Maybe a hint of smokiness. Oh, it's got a nice, heavy mouthfeel. It's quite smooth, clean, has a, interestingly, it has a crisp finish to it. <sighs> Heavy roasted character. I'm getting hints of smoke. A little bit of hazelnut and chocolate, too, maybe. There's a bit of a nutty character to it. I don't know why I specifically settled on hazelnut, but... <clears throat> Definitely getting some, some chocolatey notes, too. Huh. One of our range of very special Christmas beers brewed in England for the USA. We all know, of course, that Santa is really from Lapland. All right. Ingredients: uh, da, 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 da. water. <laughs> it's like in different. Okay, water, barley, wheat, oats, sugar, hops and yeast. Okay, it took me a second to get through the ingredients because what they do is they list each ingredient and then they list it in like a couple of other languages before getting back to English again. Alright, so... Overall, not bad. 
It's a very, very satisfying, heavy, dark stout. Like I said, a hint of nuttiness, some roasty, smoky notes, and, and definitely some chocolate notes in there as well. Um, it's got a fair amount of complexity to it. I'm hitting this with a 4 out of 5. Um, there's nothing particular about it that's blowing me away or making me go, wow, but I also can't find anything about it that I don't like. And um, it's got some really nice flavor and complexity to it that I already described. Uh, so it's not like a simple, simple stout, but, you know, just, just not distinguishing itself high enough to get like a the four and a half or the five category, but, <coughs> pardon, with no negatives, um, sitting at a solid four out of five on it. But that's just what I have to say about this one. Lump of coal, hit me up down below in the comments with the email link down there. Love to hear what you have to say about the beer. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and then click on that little bell and turn on your notifications so you get a notice every time I post a new one. Until next time, folks. Merry Christmas. Cheers.